Well, I guess this is what it's all come down to. I think it's time for us to finally do the final fight. I have been putting this off for a while because this playthrough, I just want to quickly say, it's, it's you know, I've really enjoyed doing this and I appreciate all the support you guys have given me. So, what do you just say we end this in style? And you know what? I will say this now. This final level here is probably one of my favourite final levels in any video game ever. I mean, it just seems so fitting, don't you think? And um, when I was playing this through the first time, and spoiler alert, yes, I have played this before because you need to play this before you can actually do the uh, purple coins. But when I was playing this through the first time, I got kind of a bit confused. I was like, oh, how do we end up here? after we went through the castle, because this doesn't look like the inside of Peach's castle that I've ever seen. Uh, but no, if you were listening carefully, Rosalina actually said there was a warp inside the castle, which is where this took us. So that's how we got here, just in case anyone was as confused as I was. But I'm sure by now most of you have seen the ending of this game. Um, if you're experiencing it with me, of course, then I appreciate that. I mean, I like this, and... Um, Something I will say about this is I really like the way it incorporates all of kind of the levels and themes that we've seen throughout the game. I mean, this I would say is more like, um, oh god, what's it called? Um, fiery Flame Peak or, or something like that. Oh crap! I think it's actually called the Freeze Flame Galaxy actually. Uh, so this is kind of like the Freeze Flame Galaxy or really any kind of um, space galaxy, no, any kind of lava galaxy. That's always a theme, isn't it, in Bowser levels? There's always lava, all the time. There's only one case I can think of, when that's in Super Mario 64, where, um, you know, there was, um, oh god, oh no, oh, I thought I was going to die then. That would have been disastrous. Um, where, there in Bowser's Dark World, with, oh, 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 damn, son. But then again, that did have fire and fire rods and stuff like that. So I guess technically, yes. But this one's based kind of on the desert level. But as I was saying, it does incorporate a lot of the themes of the galaxies we've seen throughout the game. And I think that's really cool. I think that's what a final level should do. I don't think it should set out exactly to be intimidating like it did in Super Mario 64. But just to kind of... I don't know, represent the wrapping up of the game. That's what I think. But, um, oh crap. But, um, my question of the day for you guys on that subject is what do you think is the greatest final level in any game ever? It doesn't have to be Nintendo, it can be anything. Um, I wouldn't say this. I mean, I think this is the best themed one. But, in my opinion, the greatest final level ever probably has to go to. Oh, that's actually a really tricky one. Right, that's something I'm going to have to think about. If I think of my answer halfway through here, I'll um, I'll bring it up. But as you can see here, this is kind of like... I know we did a comic that was like this. I can't remember what one it was. I think it was one we had to get the ice flower and then skate on the thing. Or maybe the one where we had to get the ball and then roll on it. I can't remember. There was a lot of things with lava tunnels in this game. There was a lot of lava, actually. I don't think I've ever known a Mario game to have a, so much lava as there was in this game. Which is awesome, because I love lava levels, except they kill me quite a lot, quite frequently. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this uh, this episode, funny enough. Hi, Bonsai Bill, how are you? Because the first time, it actually went really well. But for some reason, only the audio recorded and no video. And that was so freaking close just then. I almost died. Oh, God. Uh, please tell me... Ah, oh, there's a coin there. Question is, can I actually get to it? Ah, oh, yes, I can. Sweet. Um, oh, God. Oh, that, <laughs> that was really not much of a challenge at all, to be honest. Oh, crap! No! Oh, thank God. Thank God that was too close for Mr. Tanuki. Too close indeed! Too close indeed. Thank God the, uh, the launch star is just here, because this is going to take us exactly... To where we need to be. <laughs> Looking for Princess Peach too bad. Because she's with me. 
Shut up, Peach. Alright, come on, Bowser. You want to play ball? Let's play ball, okay? Let's do this. Come on. Okay, that's a bit too much playing ball. I mean, if you want to play ball, we'll play ball. But I want to play ball fairly, you know? <laughs> Anyone counted the amount of times I said ball in that sentence? I just love balls, you know? You guys know what I'm like with balls and such. Finally, you got here just in time to see the creation of my galaxy in the center of the universe. Watch and weep. From this galaxy, I'll rule a great galactic empire with Peach by my side. It will last forever until both of you die. <laughs> I will rule every pitiful corner of the universe. So Mario, as you can see, I got big plans and stomping you is at the top of my list. Alright Bowser, we'll see who gets stomped now. It's actually a good thing I picked up that, um, that life shroom because I would probably end up dying without it. But the way you do this is you just hit him. It's kind of like those um, rocks with the red kind of um, gem thing in them. So he's just like a, a Bowser version of those. Pretty easy. This boss fight's actually not that hard. The only thing you could find hard is the fact that it goes on a long time. There's actually three stages in this. Each consisting of two hits that he needs to take. So he has to take six hits. Um... Which isn't that bad, but each time he has different moves you've got to adapt to. And you don't start at the start of the battle you were doing. You start at the, um, at the, uh, stupid concrete stairs things that we were just at. So, uh, all things considered, it's not that hard, but just more annoying than anything, I'd say, to be honest. Um, I'm glad I actually know what to do now, because in, when the first time I tried to record this, I completely failed. And now the only thing I failed at was actually getting here. Although I did only die, like, tw what, twice? Three times at the most, I think? Oh, damn. Come on, one more, one more. Boom! Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that, Bowser. And as you can see, we slowly move to the final stage here in the center of the universe. I don't know what's with all these holes, but the, uh, the big sun and the fire stuff is very intimidating. But uh, luckily we've actually done a battle like this before, except, it, you know, it's essentially the same. They just rehashed battles, but tried to make it more intimidating by adding the um, inclusion of a giant sun in the background, you could say. Um, oh, damn, son! You almost got me. He's, um, he's quite difficult in this one, but only because he makes it very hard to actually jump on these. He'll be very... Very um, uncooperative, you could say. Apart from there, because he was very cooperative and helpful there. Thank you, Bowser. Boom! And then can we go for another one? Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, yes, we can indeed. And now, let's go for the last hit. I'm going to make this one count. And I'm going to do it in style. Mr. Tanuki final hit style. And... I know after saying that, it's probably going to be like the lamest final hit ever. But, um, <laughs> style, ladies and gentlemen. Style. This is entertainment you're getting. Free of charge on my YouTube channel. Aren't you lucky? Oh, oh, crap. You almost, almost had it, Bowser. Come on, you're going to have that one. Brilliant. And actually, we haven't taken a single hit, which is freaking amazeballs, unless I picked up a coin. I think I might have picked up a coin, actually. But... Go for the final. No! Final hit. No! Final hit. Come on. Come on, final hit, please. Boom!
Well, I just want to say quickly before I actually touch the grand star that I appreciate all the support everyone's given me. I do apologise for the massive break in the middle of this series, but I'm prepared to move on to something new now, and I really hope you guys will stick with me and continue to support my channel because I feel like we've actually built a good community here, and I want everyone to know before I finish this series that I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you guys.
Welcome, welcome, new galaxy! 